Facebook, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. I didn't do that one week and somebody called me out on it. I can't remember. It might have been Pete. Uh, but somebody was like, you didn't do it. Sad face. So back on brand. Camera one, camera two. Welcome. I'm going to get rid of the sink full of dishes there. Okay, there we go. Hi, hi, hi. My kind of pen up. Oh, I hope I'm your kind of pen up. Welcome. Smiling Crab, Ashley, Eric, Bobby, Kristen. Yay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's lunchtime for everybody. Uh <sighs> But more importantly, it's Thursday, and y'all know what that means. It's bacon with Olivia. Hey, Tony. Um, uh, a little birdie, I believe, on some social medias told me that y'all have been receiving your CDs recently. Is this true? Hi, Gunnar. Hi, Lucy. Lucy Eyeballs. Hello. Lucy L. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. John, Florence, Ashley. Hi. 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 It's not. You're right. It's not mm, daytime. It's evening. Good evening. The UK. Good afternoon. The States. Uh, hi, Biggie Vulture. Hello, John. Oh, I will. I will. You be safe with your family. Uh, hi, Michael. Hello, Derek. Yay, Derek did get his eyeballs. Did I? I know, I'm sorry, Lucy. I I could never be a news anchor. It would be terrible. <laughs> it's Olivia, a normal person. Oh, have you been meeting some weird people, Eric? I'm real curious about this. Um, <laughs> okay, not in the UK just yet. I hope it gets to you very quickly because um, it's just, it's fabulous. Oh, hey, Bella. Do you want to get out of the kitchen? Here. You guys want to see one of the original babies of this house? Say hello. Say hi. Hi, hi. All right, I'm going to let you go over here because I'm pretty sure you don't want to be caught in the kitchen. All right, I'm going to wash my hands just because you know it's good practice. Uh, most likely next week. Hi, Dallas Master Gardener. Oh, lovely. Hello, Miss Bet Betty. Uh, Michael got a CD on on Monday. Yay! And Michael, if you guys didn't uh, see, posted a video of a little compilation of me and my dove trying to blow kisses to you guys at the end, and he set it to one of our new tracks, P.S. I Love You. It was the sweetest, sweetest, most like heartwarming video every day. She just gets cuter and cuter and she's exploring more. She's absorbing everything all the time. It's super, super fun. Not the weird you're compatible with. That's unfortunate, Eric. I'm my own brand of weird. And when I'm around weird people that aren't my type of weird, it's really weird. Uh, da, da, da. You think they're walking it over in the UK? <laughs> Oh, you can't see anything. Uh, I'm going to try getting out and coming back in. Um, can everybody else see me? Hi, Pete. Uh, because if it's something on my end, I need to know and I need to, to try that again. But, um, well, welcome. A couple of announcements before we get super started. The first one being tomorrow at noon, you guys are going to get treated to a live chat with Rosalind, Giselle, and Ella, our three dolls who you all know and love. They're featured very prominently on the album. They're going to chat with you about the album and what it was like to record and some of their favorite songs. So check that out. Noon, Los Angeles time, 8 p.m. London time. Uh, find your time zone accordingly. <laughs> Visuals activated. Okay, great. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Martin. Hi, Tanya. Hello, Jay Lorca. Did I? I'm sorry. I'm really going to mispronounce every single name. Um, okay, good. Everybody can see me. That's great. Um, Adam, I think your masala is sizzling, ready to be eaten. Uh, da, 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 da. So yes, tomorrow. Oh, well, thank you. Um, we got visuals on target. Great. Amazing. Um, yeah, so tomorrow at noon, 8 p.m., the chat with Ella, Rosalind, and Giselle. And then, who are our vocal captains, if you didn't know. And then, uh, if you haven't gotten your CD, 
you can still buy it on our website, the satindolls.com slash shop. Just remember dolls with a Z. There it is. Okay. Oh, hey. I think they think this food is going and it definitely is not. Um, grab your CD or you can go to Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, or Amazon Music, or even iHeartRadio and stream it digitally. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Very good, Eric. And lastly, next week is a big week. It's Thanksgiving in the States. And I'm going to be cooking all day long. And I'm so excited. It is my favorite holiday because even though I literally get up at 8 a.m. and start cooking and don't stop until the evening, uh, it just makes me happy. Because then I have food for the whole rest of the week. And I don't have to step into my kitchen except to heat it up. But because Thanksgiving is a Thursday, this show is actually going to be on Wednesday of next week. And I'm going to show you guys how I make my pumpkin cheesecake. It will still be at 1 o'clock, uh, but it's going to be Wednesday. I'll let you guys know, but mark your calendars now. Set your brains on fire Wednesday for next week uh, instead of Thursday. Because as much as I love you, I'm, I'm going to be really distracted <laughs> making ham and stuffing and cranberry sauce and casseroles and I'm probably going to bake a loaf of bread as well because you know why not um and today we're doing something super special we are making ginger snap cookies or biscuits as they're called in the UK and those biscuits are going to form the crust for the pumpkin cheesecake next week so um Oh, and at noon on Wednesday next week, if you guys can just have a doll extravaganza, we're going to be featuring Satin Doll Eve. If you don't know her, she's one of our newer dolls. She's been on several streams. I think she was on the Disney stream, the standards. Uh, she's been popping in and out fairly frequently, but she's going to do a 20-minute spotlight set at noon. And then you've got about 40 minutes to eat your lunch and regroup. And then join me at one for some cheesecake. Oh. Don't forget about your birthday cake next Friday. <gasps> Christian, it's your birthday. Oh, what, what's your favorite kind of cake? Hi, Jose from LA. I have to pronounce that right, right? It's Jose and not Jose. Josie. All right, see, this is the problem. I, I'm terrible at reading handles. Um, but anyway, we're going to make some cookies or biscuits. I want them to be crunchy. I don't know how crunchy they're going to be, but we're going we're gonna to make it work. Okay, so here's the other fun thing about this today. We do not have a quarter cup measuring cup or a three quarters cup measuring cup, and I need a quarter cup measuring cup. They've got one, but they use it for the dog food, and I just can't. I, I just can't do that. I know I can wash it, and it'll disinfect everything, but I'm weird. I'm weird like that. Um, yes, happy early birthday, Christian. I would like to know what your favorite cake is, um, and I'll... I'll I'll airdrop it in Germany <laughs> if that was uh, a thing we could do. Okay, so the oven's already going. We've got it set to 350 degrees. And we're making cookies. And I'm really excited about these cookies, to be honest, because they don't use butter. Instead, the recipe calls for shortening. And except for the egg that goes in it, if we didn't have the egg, it would be a vegan cookie, uh, but it is dairy free, which is perfect because my dove has had like some breakouts recently her rashes have gotten worse. So I'm excited that she can eat something that isn't really going to trigger an allergic reaction. Jose. Okay, great. I'm so glad I pronounced that correctly. Watched the Disney stream earlier this week at YouTube and really enjoyed it ever. Oh, well, thank you. I said I was wickedly fabulous as Ursula, the sea witch. I, you know, it's so fun. Um, and if you caught our Halloween stream, I made an appearance and revived that song. I think I did better on the Disney stream, but, you know, I'm a hypercritical Harriet, so don't ask me for honest opinions about myself. <laughs> oh, you don't have one. <gasps> We're going to have to make a, a, a good cake. What's your favorite cake that we've made on this show? How about that? Or do you hate the favorite question? Because I hate the favorites question. I hate that question so much. Lola, what are you doing? She's a little, little Yorkie mixes. They're both Yorkie mixes. 
but they're different. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, girls. Hi. Do you want to be on camera too? She's like, please. They look like siblings, but they're not. She says, please. I want to be as famous as my other sisters. Uh, the apron is on, Pete. We're making ginger snap cookies that are going to turn into the crust for my pumpkin cheesecake next week. So I was contemplating making um, a streusel, a coffee cake with streusel topping or an apple strudel. But I think it was yesterday when I was going through my grocery shopping list. I did all my Thanksgiving grocery shopping yesterday. The only thing I have left to buy are the herbs and I wanted them to be super fresh. So I did not get them uh, yesterday, a week and a day in advance. But as I was making my list, I thought, how hard would it be to make ginger snaps so that I don't have to buy the box and I can kill two birds with one stone? So that's what we're doing. You, you don't like ginger snaps? Christian. Uh, or is that, a, or did I miss this conversation? Okay, um, so let's get started because we're like 11 minutes into this party. Do I want the mixing sand or do I want the hand mixer? I like the hand mixer, I'm gonna be honest. The kitchen is baby proofed and you gotta have a magnet to open a door. Okay. Oh, the board. Guys, I gotta tell you the, the cycling class that I did today um, I've switched to doing low impact rides on Thursdays so that I'm still getting a good workout in, but it's not as hard and it doesn't leave me as breathless. Like I'm much more prepared and ready for this uh, compared to trying to take a class with an ex army. <sighs> uh, army vet. He's insane. I love him, but I always feel like I'm about to die. Uh, when I take a class with him, but I took a low impact class and I'm gonna unplug my computer real fast. Took a low impact class with a teacher who is just so bright and bubbly and cheery and wonderful. She's deceptively tricky though, because I got halfway through that impact ride and thought I was gonna die. I did not, thankfully. Um, but Jess King, she'll get ya. She'll get ya. Apple strudel with vanilla sauce. That does sound good. We could make that in December. I looked it up and strudel and streusel are two completely different things. Um, streusel is like a crumbly topping, almost like a cobbler topping, but spiced. Uh, cobbler just tends to be like a sugary butter flour crumble thing. Hi, everybody. Oh, you hate the favorite question? I hate the favorites question. I really do. Because I like different things for different reasons. And it's comparing apples to oranges. Well, that's just my two cents. Um, so streusel is that crumbly topping. Strudel is a pastry. It's like an apple. It's typically if it's an apple strudel, but it's a fruit filling. I guess you could do other kind of fillings. Uh, but it's a filled pastry. I think it's rolled in like thin, thin pastry. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Why don't you buy me a new set of hamstrings? Mine are tight. Actually, they're not. They're quite warm. Mm, I want to. All right. So in lieu of butter, we've got some shortening this time. We need three quarters of a cup. And I wanted, I had to buy fresh, uh, I didn't buy, I didn't bring my spatula today. Y'all, what is wrong with me? Did all the spatulas disappear from the house? Oh no, but they got a new little thing. That's cool. Is it in the dishwasher? Yeah. I think all spatulas have been dispatchula. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I saw it coming and I couldn't avoid it. Okay, well that's fine. The spatulas have been dispatchula. 
Uh, yeah, I had to buy new shortening this morning because when I was packing up all my stuff to get ready and come here, uh, my shortening expired back in July. I do really bad with, uh, with non-perishables because when they are that, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use my finger for the bottom part of this. When, when they have such a long expiration date, I forget about them. And, uh, and then they just expire, but it could be worse. And I wanted to find, I wanted, they'll make Crisco, they'll make shortening and sticks like butter, but they did not have that here. Okay. So I'm going to eyeball what I think is a quarter. Oh, she's awake y'all. Should we go get her? What's your favorite favorites question? <laughs> All of them. I'll be right back, folks. Oh, no. I'm actually going to make sure that she doesn't, like, the other day she laid back down and went back to sleep and slept for three hours. So I'm going to see if she coaxes herself back down. She might not, and that's okay. But she is standing at attention in her crib. Also, babies just have a sixth sense. They know when things are happening without them. I'm convinced. They also know when you're trying to capture them doing something cute on camera. <gasps> no. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. No, I'm doing this right. I, again, uh, am doing my this recipe slightly from memory. And I thought that I put too much shortening in, but we're going to start with three quarters of a cup of shortening. Gosh, three quarters of a cup of shortening. We're going to blend that together with a cup of sugar. Sounds like it's used by Dave so short. No, I've had that shortening in, in there for a while. It's It's been in there for a hot minute. And the funny thing was, when I was making my list before going to the grocery store yesterday, I was like, I wonder if it's, if it's, no, it's not. It can't, surely it's not expired. And I didn't check if I had been, you're right, Little Dove is activated. False alarm. No, I think, I think she might be awake. And I think she lets you guys. So I'm still gonna give her like a few minutes. Lola's just so cute in that little thing. Um, okay. Yeah, no, it's my own fault for for not doing that right. Okay, so three quarters of a cup of shortening, a quarter of a cup, a whole cup, sorry of sugar. Butter and shortening are pretty much interchangeable. I think it's a one-to-one -one, uh, one -to -one conversion. So if you are vegan, you can always do shortening. Because I believe it's used with palm oil. goes in. So I'm going to make an executive decision. Grandma's molasses. All right. It's a quarter of a cup of molasses. Woo! Okay. Yeah, no, she's awake.
All right, pardon me for reels this time. Yeah, those are dirty dishes. Who this? Oh, mommy. That is not mommy, but everything is mommy at the same time. Those are cookies. We're going to make cookies and you can have them without any worries. Yeah, can I can I wipe these tears away from your eye? Can I? Oh, I'm so sorry. You want to say hello? Say hello. Made all kinds of music. Oh, that's great, Eric. That's wonderful. Hi, Martin. Hello. Hello, everybody says hello to you. Hello. Yeah, you want to... Here, should we take off this sleep sack? Let's take off... Man, when I was a baby, it was just blankets. But nowadays, we got sleep sack. Oh, and you're in a tutu? Sleep sacks, swaddle sacks. <gasps> oh. Yeah. You want your lovey back? Mm -hmm. You want this lovey back too? Do you want your monkey back? Oh no. Oh no. There we go. You want your monkey baby? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Let's get your chair. <coughs> oh, you don't want to be sat in the chair? You don't want to sit in your chair? Okay. So we've creamed the shortening, three quarters of a cup, with a cup of sugar. We now have a mess on our hands, a quarter of a cup of molasses, molasses, which makes things really chewy. Uh, and you always put in gingerbread or ginger snaps. We're gonna pretend like that's the proper measurement. Okay. Put this back in. We're gonna cream this together. I've got it on like a medium, medium high speed. <laughs> Can you tell everybody you're doing so good? You wanna get down? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're making cookies. Okay, now that has been put in. We're gonna beat in one egg at room temperature. Oh no, oh no. in this egg on like a medium high. Perfect. Perfect. But she does want to be where the action is there. You're right. All babies do. All right. And now I'm going to turn this down to like medium low. Hey, everybody, we're making ginger snap cookies today. Now we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon and a half of ginger, and then half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, I did put the salt in there. Amazing. You can start with it on a lower speed and then gradually increase. Otherwise, it's a mess. Oh, hey, sugar. Do you need help? Getting the bottom of that top. There you go. Yeah. 
and it smells like a ginger snap. Oh, did you finish? Oh my goodness, were you hungry? Cookies. I don't know if anybody knows of the parody songwriter Ray Stevens, but I grew up with him. My grandpa liked him a lot, and they have a parody of the song Making Whoopie, but it's We're Making Cookies. It's hilarious. I love it. Um, hi, Troy. No, you're totally fine. Uh, they're not chocolate chip. We're making ginger snap cookies. And then, yeah, you want to play with it? Go for it. We do that. The ginger snap cookies are going to be turned into a crust for my cheesecake next week. Pumpkin cheesecake with a ginger snap crust. Yeah, get it. Get it, girl. Okay, but don't eat it because it's raw egg and raw egg could make you sick. Mmm, I know. It's so fun and exciting. Do you want to use the blender? You want to hold this? Can you hold it? Okay, well, when you push that, look what happens. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so from this point, your batter is made. Yeah, what? Mm, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Really? It's been that kind of a day? Your curls are just giving me life, girl. You know? And there's no butter in these cookies, so they're not going to upset your body. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. Those are dirty dishes. So from this point, you're going to take... Ooh, round it off. Uh, no, no oops, Troy. Everything's good. Uh, familiar with Ray Stevens. Actually, have sung his songs. Guitar Zan, yes. A couple of times at a karaoke night. Oh my gosh, that's great. I didn't know they had him on karaoke. We loved Help Me Make It Through the Night and The Streak. That, those were some of our favorites. Yeah, okay, you can eat these when they're baked, but I'm not gonna give you something with raw egg in it. Ooh, I know. Okay, I love you, but I need two hands for this next adventure. Because in this next adventure, what we're doing is we're going to roll them into little balls and cook them, bake them for, oh, no. Oh, Lord. That's fine. It'll work. I don't know where your baking sheet went. Oh, I know. Can you show everybody monkey in sign language? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I mean, you don't have to do the ooh, ooh, ah, ah. obviously they're not going to hear it, but that's monkey in sign language. I know, I know. <sighs> Could you stop being so cute? I just can't handle it. All right, your oven should be set to 350 degrees. You want a, you want a spoon? You want this? Yeah, what is that? I'm going to take my ring off for this. And roughly in a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. I do need one thing. One thing more. What you're going to do is you're going to take two tablespoons of sugar. That I just put over here. Um, and we're going to roll the top half of the cookies in sugar so they get a nice crackly uh, crusty top. Just spoon some out onto a plate like so. Kind of like how you rim a glass, a margarita glass with salt. Same concept. Okay, so that's about a tablespoon. Roll it into a ball. Does Little Dove have a favorite song she likes to hear you sing? Well, her favorite, oh no, oh, her favorite song 
and I do this with all the babies that I take care of. I get them a song. Oh no! I always find a song like when they're newborns, new, new newborns. I have a song that I play for them all the time, and it ends up becoming like a very coping, a kind of coping song uh, for my little bird down in San Marcos. It's the Ogum Bogum song by Brenton Wood. Please let me know if you're familiar with it. It's something my dad would always sing and we thought he was making it up. Uh, but no, it's a real song and it was like number one on the charts for a minute. But for my dove, it's Ella Fitzgerald's All Through the Night. You want to get out? Okay. Oh my goodness, bless you. Whoa. You know, just spreading the love. So yes, we enjoy listening to Ella Fitzgerald's All Through the Night. And she's actually inspired a couple of my song choices this week because uh, yesterday, not yesterday, yesterday I was home. Yesterday I cleaned my house in anticipation for Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is what I do. If I can start the day with a clean house, it's always so much better. Uh, but the other day, Tuesday, we just started listening to Bill Withers. It was real fun. So you're going to hear a little Bill Withers tune later once we get some of these in the oven. So like you see, we're just rolling the top half in sugar. And all that's going to do is it's going to make the tops of the cookies uh, crackly. It's going to give them a crack. Usually when you have, like, if you're making a cupcake or cake, bless you, the zoom tag. Um, that is one way to spread the love, Christian. You are so right. Uh, what was I saying? When you're baking cakes, whether they're cupcakes or, or pan or sheet or whatever, if you don't, yeah. Oh, do you want me to put it back on? Did I do that right? Oh no, child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you don't like it but we got to do it. Um, when you're baking a cake, the top should be smooth, but if you ever get that kind of speckled top where it looks like there are little holes in the tops of the cake, that's an indication that your sugar didn't dissolve in the mixing process. It's also, I think, could be an over-baking thing, but uh, undissolved sugar, so unmixed sugar, will give you a crackly... Top. You, do you want to be up here? Okay. Okay. Mm, I know. It's so exciting. This batch should make three dozen cookies, which I need 12 ounces for my crust next week. I know. Mm -hmm, yeah, you can eat it when it's cooked. Okay, that one's a little... Not the right size. I mean, I guess I could use this actual tablespoon, measuring spoon in front of me, but meh. Nah, dude. Hi, Nutty Xander. Welcome. We are almost done preparing our ginger snap cookies. Okay, these balls just keep getting smaller and smaller, and that's fine. You want to spread them out on the pan because they will expand as they bake. No, definitely need more than that. Mm-hmm. Mmm. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to let you play with some dough. Although, no, I'm not going to let you play with some dough because everything just goes straight into your mouth. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's science. I get it. The doctor always tastes things. That is one way you can identify things is by tasting them. But, you know, raw egg, we don't really need to identify these cookies. We know what they are. Play with that bit. Nope. I told you everything goes straight into the mouth. Mm. Have you been watching the Great British Baking Show? I did. I have been watching the Great British Baking Show. And the other day I was like, I'm going to make a suet pudding. I'm going to murder a suet pudding is more like what would happen. But I am interested to try it. Okay, yeah. I really understand that you want to play with this. But fine. Fine. Hey, 
Okay, that's all. She's getting really good at hugs, you guys. She's getting so no, you can't have more because we gotta bake these, and then I gotta turn it into a crust for a cheesecake that you like. Definitely can't have any of next week because you know dairy. I love you, and it really does make me sad that you have a dairy allergy. If you had a nut allergy, I think I'd be fine. I mean, peanut butter is wonderful, but I think dairy allergies are the hardest because yeah, one more. Well, you can have more when they're baked. So here we go. We got a tray. We're gonna bake these for 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And now it's almost music time, my dove. My lovey dove. Hey Google. Hey Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes, starting now. There we go. I know it's no fun, but I gotta wash my hands before I pick up that uke. All right. Let's have some music, shall we, friends? We both know she's using psychology. She is, she is, she is. She, is. she wants to eat everything and uh, she wants to play on this counter all the time because my idiot self thought I can put her on the counter once. It won't hurt. Actually, I just had a, a memory pop up on my Facebook today of my little bird. And this was two years ago, two or three years ago. And I had my coffee and she wanted to taste my coffee and I drank my coffee black. That's how I prefer it. And you know, black coffee is not everybody's bag. It definitely is not. And so she was like, I want to try some. I want to try some. I really want to try some. And so I was like, fine, I'll give her a taste. Because it's black coffee, she's not going to like it. That girl took a sip of this coffee. And the second she took the glass down from her lips, she goes, yum. I created a monster. I influenced a monster. I didn't actually create her. I just influenced her. Are they still counting in Arizona and Georgia? Georgia's recount is almost done. I think Arizona's done, but it's a circus, Christian. It is a circus. That's not a chord. It is. It's not a good one. I know. I know. Oh. Listen, it's really fun to play with you while I'm holding you. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Let's get it. Let's get our Bill Withers on, shall we? When I wake up in the morning, and the sun it hurts my eyes, and something with the Sings on, ride with me. 
lovely, lovely day. Yes, it is. Hi, Richie. How's it going? Oh, Bill Withers. I do. I do. Oh, okay. 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 Let's see what everybody says. Might have been one of those. Yeah, that was a diminished chord for sure. Um, are you? Yeah, I don't want it, but you can play with it. See, isn't it fun to play with cookie dough? Yeah. Yay, thanks everybody. Uh -huh. Yeah, what do you want now? Oh, okay, well you really can't, I mean, I don't think this is gonna hurt you, but it's post-workout and, you know, a greens drink. Hey, it tastes too good to be healthy if I'm gonna be totally honest, but you know. Thanks everybody. Okay, should we sing another song? Should we sing another song? Do you want to? Mm -hmm. yeah. You want more food? Let's see. Can I find you some? You guys, I am so glad I bought the strap for this thing. It makes life easier. Mm. Mm. If there is one way to this girl's heart, it is through hummus. But it has to be hummus from Brothers Products. Yes, I know. Brothers Hummus, they are a Santa Monica Farmer's Market stand. And, like, it's not fair how good this hummus is. This hummus is ridiculous. It's so creamy. But then one day I gave her, they did not have Farmer's Market hummus. And I gave her some grocery store hummus and she rubbed it all over her face and her hair because it was not good enough for her belly. There you go. <clears throat> She's plotting? You know, she might be. But only good things, right? Just because you're making up a plot doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. It's not going to be evil unless you are evil. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. So, something else I've been watching. Hola, piano compositor. Hello, hello, hello. Buenos dias. Is this the dias there? Buenos tardes. Hello. Hola. <laughs> Uh, da Vista Hummus is dolls are to Ella Fitzgerald. That is very true, Michael. That's a really good uh, comparison. That's not an analogy. I'm, I don't ask me. Diaz. Okay, great. Buenos dias. Uh, welcome. I was in a movie long, long ago. You could call it a spaghetti western. No, it was a documentary about the spiral staircase in a church somewhere. I don't know. It's like this famous, famous Spanish mission. And the staircase, there's something crazy about the staircase, but they needed, oh God, this is terrible. They needed, uh, they, they shot a, a classroom scene with, you know, uh, in one of these schools, one of their missionary schools, mission schools. And they needed a bunch of kids to uh, play students. And we sat in, in my hometown, there is, uh, it's Quail Creek. Oh, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, there's this old, old time village and they've got, uh, I think in the fourth grade, you get to go to the school and have a day in the school as if it were the 1800s and you can pack your lunch in an old coffee tin and everybody dresses up. And so because this is something that they do like in the school system where I'm from in Oklahoma, uh, a lot of people already had like these dresses, these, these pioneer style dresses. And we got in there and uh, we... We did our scene and it was just us in this classroom. It was so hot. It was middle of summer. Of course, there's no air conditioning because they're trying to be authentic. And uh, the the nun would say, buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas? Estoy muy bien. Y tú? 
Gracias. E tu. So that's like the extent of my Spanish. And a couple other, you know, not nice words that all the cooks in the kitchens that I've ever worked in have taught me. I'm not going to spread them onto you, but I bet you can imagine. <laughs> Your video. Oh, yay, Eric. That's so funny. He's going to do an unboxing video of his Satin Bell CD. Uh, an analogy. Was it an analogy? Okay, good. Because, like, my brain just don't work today. Ain't, ain't working. All right. We're going to switch gears to another show. Speaking of shows that we're watching, because somebody asked about the Great British Baking Show. I did finally start watching it, and I just cry every time. <laughs> It's good. Yay. Great. Um, uh, the Queen's Gambit. Everybody's on that show right now. We have two episodes left. I've kind of been saving them because I've gotten really tired by the time we sit down to, to watch TV. So I want to be awake. Uh, I don't know what level it is, but okay. Uh, where is the, I know Donde is where, uh, anyway, um, Queen's Gambit. By the way, for Harry Potter fans out there, uh, if you know the movies, Dudley Dursley, the kid who plays Dudley Dursley, I can't, I need to find his name because I can never remember it. He is having a, hey Google, stop the timer. Thanks. Uh, he's having a career glow up right now. He was one of the bad guys in The Old Guard, which is a new Charlize Theron movie. Really good, really fun if you like heisty type movies. Um, and lots of action. Uh, yeah, it, but it's food, not lotion. Here, I thought I could trust her. Uh, Jillian Anderson? No, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, mm, mm, okay, but I'm just going to do this. You know, maybe you're getting so itchy because you keep putting hummus all over yourself. Okay, but it's it's really not lotion. Anyway, the actor who played Dudley in all the Harry Potter movies, he is in The Queen's Gambit as uh, Harry Belknap, one of the first really hard players that she plays. And then, what did we watch the other day? Oh, we watched a movie with uh, Tom... No, not Hiddleston. Uh, Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man. I'm blanking on his last name. Um, it's a movie on Netflix called The Devil All the Time. And um, Megan, we've got some ginger snap cookies in the oven. Uh, but The Devil All the Time, Dudley's in it. He plays a, a, a like evangelical speaking in tongues kind of minister. He's, he really is having a career glow up and I am here for it because he's wonderful. Um, you know, you hate him in Harry Potter because he's not supposed to be liked in that movie, but he's, he's doing just some great work. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm here for it. Oh no. Well, okay. Let's actually look pretty bombastic. So, real quick cookie break. Yeah. Check these out, guys. They came out perfect. All right, I'm gonna set them over on the oven. I'm gonna make the next couple batches in a second. Mm -hmm, I know. But anyway, Queen's Gambit, if you haven't watched it, is wonderful. Uh, Netherlands? It's not Tom Netherlands. What did he say? Y'all are crazy. During lunch today, I watched Marcella and Kate of the Pupini Sisters. Went to oh, how fun! It's, you should add it. You should add it. It's a really, it's really good. Set in the 60s. Super fun. Acting's all on point. Um, it's just, it's good. Like, the first episode, we were like, whoa, it's crazy! But it's really good. I really enjoy it. But anyway, I'm taking one of the songs on one of the most recent episodes. From Dudley to Ken Cope. <laughs> Is that his name? I don't know. I don't know. But he was in all the Harry Potter movies. Just for like 30 minutes. But you know, <laughs> important nonetheless. Oh, is Bella eating the rest of your hummus that you just threw? 
I mean, that's what happens when you throw your food on the floor. The dogs eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is you work on this, but you threw it on the floor. And so I can't, I can't help you there, girl. Hi, Brandon. Oh, thanks, man. You are wonderful for being here. So we're going to go to a band that I also grew up listening to. Okay. Okay. I'm not actually going to kiss you because you'll get lipstick all over your face. I loved the monkeys growing up. Such a fun show. Um, fun show, fun band. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But here's a song that they got. And uh, we'll see if you guys know this one. some lipstick. I'm really sorry. I look a little like a clown right now. Because this stuff smudges. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's my fault for leaving my purse on the floor like that and not zipping it up. Do I need a nap? Actually, I'm doing real good on energy. I just need a break. She did. She knows what to go for. Surely does. The monkeys. I love the monkeys. Hi. Hey, hey, but the monkeys. My parents have a huge record collection and my mom's got at least two monkeys albums that I love listening to. Um, that's what I would do. I would put on the records and I would dance around in my living room where there were like huge bay windows. Um, and everybody could see like the whole street could see. And I would just put on my own musicals and, and do that and stuff. 
Yeah. Okay, she's with Mother Death now, so I can rest and leave you guys with one more song. Hey, Alba. Hey, DXG. One last song. Yes, Don't Rush the Dolls. We did do a lipstick challenge. <clears throat> I don't know where that video ended up. I think I spent like 12,000 years editing it together. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a good challenge. Final song I'm going to leave you with today is a Nina Simone song. Guys, I love her. I love her so much. If you haven't watched the documentary, What Happened, Miss Simone, you need to. It's on Netflix. It should still be on Netflix because it is a Netflix documentary. Um, and I actually found another memory on my Facebook of her. There's a video from way back in the 60s. She got really, really political later in her career. And I think people kind of stopped listening to her because she got so political um, uh, until like later. She ended up expatriating herself and living in Liberia, I think, is where she ended up her life. In her, her life. Um, but she had, there was an interview and she said, I think artists have a responsibility to reflect the times. And I loved it. I loved that whole conversation. You know, whether you're a painter, a sculptor, whatever, you should be reflecting the the times. Oh, thanks, Brandon. Uh, da, 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 da. She was about to, I don't know if she was going to do red rum, but, you know, she was real smart. She would have done something. Would have been a masterpiece. Okay, so Mia Simone, one more song. We got time for just barely. This is one that I love. It's a jaunty little tune. All day. My baby don't care for shows. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. My baby don't care for cars and races. My baby don't care for high tone places. Liz Taylor's not his style, and even Lana Turner's smile is something he can't see. My baby don't care who knows it. My baby just cares for me. Got a today just a smidge um thanks tony the key of e is considered the singer's key yeah it's a pretty good key it's a pretty good key thanks everybody um i've got several batches of cookies left over we'll do a taste test with little dove later don't forget tomorrow noon la time 8 p.m london time a chat with ella giselle and miss roslyn about the album Next Wednesday at noon, we've got a 20-minute spotlight session with Satin Doll Eve. Tune in and give her some love. And then I will be live next Wednesday at 1 p.m. We're going to make some pumpkin cheesecake, making the crust out of these ginger snap cookies. 
Uh, and then go grab your album. You can get it digitally, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music. Am I missing anything? Um, or you can buy the CD on our website, thesatindolls.com. Um, hello, officially Ansel Nintendo. Hello. Um, so thank you guys. I'm, I'm out of time, but I don't, Instagram stopped their time limit, but I am out of time and I love you guys dearly. I'm going to go take over a little dove who's got my purse around her neck. So it looks like we're going to go shopping. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. I'll see you next week on Wednesday for some cheesecake. Bye.